Jerry uh, for the wonderful introduction and I want to thank the singers and, and drummers one more time, please. I also want to offer my thanks to the many people whose hands and hearts worked so hard to make this evening possible. Thank you. Uh, welcome to our book launch. I feel so happy and honored to be here because this book really feels like it belongs to everyone. It doesn't really feel like uh, my book anymore. It feels like it belongs to no one and everyone all at the same time. Um, I'm just going to speak a little bit about what this book is about. Um, Outsiders Within is an international uh, inter-ethnic anthology written by mostly transracial adoptees, and there are also our allies included. So you'll hear, hear one of our allies speak tonight, uh, Heidi Eltzman. And uh, these pieces are about our experience in transracial adoption. And the reason why it came about is because some of us who are transracially adopted notice that for over 50 years the literature of transracial adoption has been written by the people who do the adopting and the people who facilitate the adopting and our voices had mostly been left out and our experiences had been somewhat glossed over. We also noticed that we had connections between our own transracial adoptee uh, movement in our lives and other other people, such as our original communities of color where we were coming from, and also people like immigrants. Um, and we wanted to sort of look at transracial adoption through a lens that included more people than ourselves, so we could include it in broader movements for social justice. So I'm going to read just a part of the introduction tonight, and then Sun Young Shin is going to read a bit as well. Oh, and also, um, Sun Young is one of the editors and also Julia Chinari Opera, and unfortunately she can't be here tonight, but we are thinking about her. In this book, we are united across national borders by our experiences. We are united here in our passion to be heard and to end the self-censorship and denial that have silenced us. Many of the scholars, writers, and artists gathered in this anthology are involved in building a global transracial adoptee community. We are gathered to, together to struggle collectively for dignity and self-determination. We are determined to make connections between personal struggles and broader movements for peace and social justice. We are committed to challenging the use of transracial and transnational adoption as a panacea to social ills rooted in colonial histories and contemporary global inequalities. Moreover, we reject the idea that the increasing popularity of transracial adoption heralds the dawning of a new era beyond race and racism. If one overriding theme emerges from the writings gathered here, it is this, to reclaim our birthright as human beings, not as objects of exchange, and to transform our personal stories into collective action for social change, we must understand our historical connections to past generations our past and future connections to our countries and families of origin, and our current connections to each other. In expanding the discussion of transracial adoption beyond the black-white binary, we hope to build understanding among adoptees of diverse ethnic and national origins, as well as building understanding between adoptees and non-adopted people of color, and between adoptees of color and our white allies. The editors come to this work as feminists of color, our definition of feminism includes a commitment to reproductive justice for all. At the heart of our adoptions are the reproductive choices of our mothers, choices that were most often made in the context of limited options. For us, reproductive rights can never be reduced to the right to a safe and legalized abortion or freedom from dangerous contraceptives or forced sterilization. Instead, we must create to work we must work to create and sustain a world in which low-income women of color do not have to send away their children so that the family that remains can survive. Our feminism demands that we critique a global system that bequeaths power to some mothers and not to others. It calls on us to reconsider the myths that we have been told about our birth mothers and to challenge ourselves to move past our own pain to see the limited survival choices given our mothers and communities that led to our adoptions. Although our stories lie at the intersection of feminist and global economic justice movements, white feminists and feminists of color alike have largely overlooked transracial adoption as a site of struggle. This volume is a platform for transracial adoptees to be heard, 
But within these pages, there is also a call for a global response. It is critical at a time when right-wing political forces are achieving global dominance that a real transracial feminist solidarity be created, one that leads women to fight for each other's most basic human rights to parent their own children, and that rejects transa transactions that pit birth mother against adopted mother. And Sonia, would you like to come up?